what's poppy youtube welcome back to another video and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new it's your girl shayla for those of you who do not know i noticed that lately i haven't been saying that in my videos so just in case you guys did not know i am shayla so i'm sure you guys can tell by the title what this video is going to be all about this will be the pros and cons of my sister logs and once again guys i did not want to go off the top of the dome because i noticed when i tend to go off the top of the dome these videos can be all over the place so i do have my phone per usual now before we get into this video if you are not subscribed to the channel baby go ahead and turn that like button from red to gray show your girl some love and um you know while you're at it you might as well go ahead and hit that bell notification so you can be notified each and every time i drop a new video also hit that like button give your girl some thumbs up you you know i need it you show me some love baby and also don't forget to comment on the video i am open to all comments suggestions opinions all of that and i do respond okay so let's go ahead and get into this video so i am going to start with the cons first yes the cons i definitely want to end with the pros because i would not have sister locks if you know i didn't love them so we're going to start with the cons now my first con is going to be the price the price of sister locks now when i'm talking about cons i don't think um i'm speaking just for myself i feel like i'm speaking for a lot of us with sister locks luckily for me i went through of a trainee See, when you do your research you know better right that's why you should research before you jump into anything so because i went with the trainee the price for me actually wasn't too bad i had six to twelve inches of hair and i paid five hundred dollars yes i know some of y'all probably like what you paid five hundred dollars for your hair like if you don't have sister locks or you don't really know too much about it but I know some of you who do have sister locks, you're probably like six to 12 inches, only $500? Right, right sis, 500. I know just as well as a lot of other people know that I definitely got a good deal. Um, and just to keep it real with you, honestly, the consultant, uh, the trainee who did my hair is now an actual consultant so i really think that she was trying to build her clientele up so she can actually become a consultant that way you know you could start charging those real dollars out there but um yeah i paid 500 dollars uh the top of my hair was about six inches and that's because i had chopped it off a few months before getting my sister locks but i didn't cut the bag so that was anywhere from like nine to twelve inches but um usually they start off at like three to four hundred dollars for the first four inches and then some people go up 25 50 or even a hundred dollars for each additional inch so if you do the math baby yes i know i got a deal but speaking for you know other people who wear if they came in from six to twelve inches then they could be looking at anywhere from like eight hundred to a thousand dollars yeah mm -hmm. probably even more depending on the person so that was um, definitely, I think, one of the major cons. And then, you know, the maintenance, um, monthly maintenance, it may be a little pricey for some people, just depend on who you go to because everybody do name their own prices. Now, my next con is going to be braiding and banding. Yes, I did my research. Yes, I knew I was going to have to braid and band when I got my hair done. And just because I knew does not mean I like it or love it. Y'all, I absolutely hate braiding and banding. I actually finally got the okay to not have to braid and band anymore and I haven't done it just yet, but I'll be doing it soon. So fingers crossed everything is great. Um, to me, braiding and banding is just like... 
it's too much okay <laughs> it's too much i mean it's no different than well not no different it's a lot easier than having to detangle your hair before you wash your natural hair definitely but i did not like the whole rubber band situation i've tried barrette i've tried hair clips um what else did i try I've tried like the clips people use for locks when they're retwisting. I was just trying like all different kind of methods because I could not stand the rubber band method. It just wasn't working for me. So when I was finally able to like braid and it not unravel, then I completely stopped using rubber bands. I even went to the um, doing like loose French braids to avoid having to use rubber bands. Like I was trying almost anything, right? Like. <laughs> I just needed something to work for me but yeah so that is definitely a con for me <laughs> um, the next one is going to be fragile my opinion do not kill me you know what I'm saying for my opinion but um, with the locks being so small they can be very fragile especially if you're causing too much tension in the beginning it's really important to pay attention to your locks um i cannot stand a fragile stage because i constantly well not constantly but i've had quite a few locks break off and i mean about four or five i do still find some locks that seem a little thinner than other ones but honestly i think that when i had got my hair established it probably wasn't the best condition and what I mean by that is mainly my ends so they tell you that you don't need to clip your ends in order to get sister locks that is the one thing that I wish I would have stood my ground on and not saying that I did it because they didn't say I needed to but like my appointment had got changed so I was literally out of town washing my hair I had a late flight back to get up that next morning to start by installment so I didn't have time to clip my ends, even though I had originally planned to clip them, but because my appointment was pushed up by two days, the whole ball game changed. But I really believe that, um, you know, not clipping your ends, especially if your ends are kind of bad, then you're definitely gonna see some issues down the line with thinning of your locks or, you know, breaking of your locks. But, um, it, it definitely can cause your hair to be a little weak. So baby, if you are watching this video, you have not yet got your sister locks installed, please make sure you get you a nice trim before getting those sister locks installed. You heard it here first. Trim those ends before you get those sister locks installed. Don't say nobody didn't tell you because I'm letting you know right now. But yeah, I, I believe because of the size, they can be very fragile, especially on the ends. And that is like where a lot of my problem areas are. So the fragile part of it, I'm not, you know, too much of a fan. Um, next thing I'm not a fan of is the shrinkage. I am still in the phase where shrinkage is killing me. And pause real quick, y'all. If y'all see my background, don't really mind it. I decided to hop in my son's game room because we just redid it. I'm like, baby, I'm about to film me a video in there. Yep. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, so shrinkage. Especially, like, when I first got them, like, I would be, like, up here. Up here. I was like, when do this go away? I mean, even still to this day, I am almost 16 months locked and I still get shrinkage. It's not as bad as it was in the beginning, but I do still get shrinkage and that that really sucks. Especially when the top part of my hair is shorter than the back. It looks like I have a mullet, at least to me it does. And baby, it's not cute. But also, um, you know, just trying to put your hair in a ponytail and stuff and it then train. It's kind of like you want to leave it braided just to have that braid out to stretch your hair. But also you don't want to do that too often because even by you constantly doing that and stretching your hair, 
you're manipulating your hair so in the beginning phase you can definitely cause that extra tension which can cause your hair to possibly break so think about that as well hair itching y'all now let's go ahead and move over to the pros because you know the pros outweigh the cons for me so the pros is um first low maintenance when i tell you sister locks are very low maintenance like do i need to say it again of course in the beginning of your journey your hair is still kind of like really still trying to find its way so it'll be a little harder for you to just get up and go especially if um you don't start with that much length so in the beginning you know you gotta work it out a little bit but i'm definitely at the point in my journey where i could literally take my bonnet off or take my scarf off whatever i have on my head at night or even if i decide to just sleep on my satin pillowcase i could just literally get up shake it out and go if i wanted to most times i do <laughs> most times i do i might just rake my my hands my fingers through real quick give it a shake and i i'm ready okay who gonna check me boo who gonna check me don't worry i'll wait that low maintenance okay that low maintenance how how can you not want that how like if you're a person that don't really like doing their hair or don't want to keep up with doing their hair like especially like on a daily or a weekly basis baby <laughs> get you some of these sister locks okay so next one is going to be easy to style very easy to style i don't need a comb i don't need a brush the most i ever need is some ponytail holders every so often if i'm doing a little extra i'll need bobby pins Sometimes rubber bands I try I still stray away from rubber bands because I just don't like them, okay? <laughs> but like, or you know, you need you a little spray bottle in your fingers, depending on how you're wearing your hair. So low maintenance, I love it. Um, another pro for me will be the size of the locks. I know earlier I said um, the fragile state can be a con and because of the size is why they can be fragile, but Honestly, I got sister locks because of the size. I can honestly still style my hair as if it's my loose natural hair. Yeah, I can still style my hair as if it's my loose natural hair. You can flat iron sister locks. I won't be flat ironing mine, but you know, it's an option. You can curl sister locks and I'm not just talking about with um, pipe cleaners or flexi rods stuff like that no you can put a curling iron in your head and curl these sister locks baby you can still do mini twists you can still do braid outs you could put that hair in a ponytail um the parts are so defined you know if you really take your time you know what i'm saying that you can really just like i could just braid the front of my hair half up half down you know, styling it is so easy and you can do so much with it versus if you have thicker locks, it might be harder to get it up in a ponytail, um, it might be harder to style, but you can literally mimic your loose natural hair with sister locks um, and micro locks and stuff are still pretty close. So with micro locks as well, but like with smaller locks in general, it's so easy to mimic your loose natural hair and get a lot of the same styles so next is going to be um you know the beauty of the locks i have to throw that in there the beauty of the locks okay i've done enough videos so i'll do a little thing for you guys but I've done enough videos showcasing my locks, so if you guys have not checked those out, feel free to go up a few videos and you guys can check those out. I have some hairstyle videos on there. I have um, monthly update videos, so if you guys want to get a little closer into these sister locks, you can definitely see them. But let's just talk about like how freaking gorgeous, beautiful, and sexy sister locks are. 
You just fall in love, okay? <laughs> you just fall in love because that's literally what happened. Like, it took me five years to make this decision. And now that I finally made it, it was like, dang, this is the best hair decision I ever made. Like, I love my hair. Yes, I have my moments where like something might break off or something ain't going right and I feel some type of way, but it's honestly the best hair decision I've ever made. And I'm not taking it back. I'm not taking it back. It's just so convenient, it's low maintenance, it's pretty, I just love it, okay? But those are my pros and cons on my sister locks. So please be sure to like, Please be sure to share the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel that is turning that subscribe button from red to great. Yes, it is. And comment down below because, you know, I want to interact. I'll comment back. But thank you guys for taking the time to tune into this video. I'll catch you guys in another video. I'll actually have a styling video coming soon. So be sure you guys look out for that. Until next time.